If somebody were to drive down like through Skid Row in LA and they were to see like the amount of people out here, the amount of people living in tents, they might say like, there's nothing we can do about this. What would you say back to them? When we learn people's stories, it's a lot harder to just walk by them. It's a lot harder to ignore the small things that you can do to help. There are more Americans experiencing homelessness today than ever before. We met Jonathan Kumar. He created the for-profit Samaritan app to build communities around people without a home. Just providing direct resources to folks is more effective than sometimes investing into big government programs. By putting a team of people around a person and having that team invest in that person, we see people begin to invest in themselves. Thank you to live in that house right there. Today, Victoria is using funds from the Samaritan app to purchase her first haircut in over 20 years. You ready for your haircut today? Yeah. Getting my wanted. Of course. If Jonathan's idea works, could it be the answer to empowering someone on their path out of homelessness? This is Stand Together Presents. Stories, ideas, and advice from changemakers tackling our biggest challenges. And how long have you been in this spot? In August will be four years. This is the tent I sleep in, right here. And then my work tent, the one I work in. I've never met anyone that wanted to be homeless. But once you are in that, it's hard to get out. It's really hard. Loneliness is probably the biggest problem because in society, you got friends, you got family members, you got coworkers, what have you. On the streets, you don't got that. Jonathan was inspired to create Samaritan based on his own family's experience with poverty. My folks are both from South India and immigrated to the United States in the late 80s. My dad was a student, my mom wasn't working, I was born, and so we were on food stamps, we were on Medicaid. My family was adopted by a group of people that went to a local church and were so generous in terms of time and money and transportation and advice. They were just our new family. And that is something that is missing for people that are experiencing homelessness and is what we're seeking to provide. Jonathan believes the lack of social connectivity is what keeps a person homeless. By partnering with social services to create profiles on Samaritan, people with needs can begin receiving donations for specific things to help. So what is your immediate needs that you need right now? Can be like groceries. I need groceries, I need a cell phone, I need housing, and I need it. my hair done. Your hair done, okay. <laughs> so let's Victoria wants you to know that her throat was slashed in a vicious attack and her ability to speak was permanently damaged. She told me that she's been without a home for over 20 years. That's why I don't this fight because my vocal you went through a lot and you're, you're a survivor and we want to yeah. support you, we want to be here for you. Providing a social home often leads to a physical home soon after. Any person who has resources can download the app and learn the stories of people in their city that are looking to get into housing and commit to joining their team. Our goal is over the course of six to 12 months to get our members to a place financially, socially, and where they have a community that they can lean on and they have a physical home to go along with that, that social home. Each profile on Samaritan shows the user's unique experience with homelessness, and the app's community provides individualized support for their needs. Sending some words of affirmation or helping cover a phone bill that can literally unlock someone's progress, someone's ability to make it to an appointment that day or to apply for a job. You know, these small actions that over time are the difference between someone being on the street for just a year or someone being on the street for the rest of their life. So if you want, we can go over to see some of the messages if you want to see some. Yeah? So this is Angelus's team. And these are the different things that they're sending you. I appreciate everybody that takes some time with the day. 
It's um, inspiring. You guys make me feel good. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yep. Have fun. Samaritan has expanded into over 10 cities and serves more than 1,000 members experiencing homelessness. Their goal is to support over 100,000 people in the next decade. By tracking each member's progress towards self-sufficiency, Samaritan is demonstrating how small steps alongside a community will lead to life-changing outcomes. We can't afford to leave these people on the street for years. A bottom-up solution is critical because it allows everyone to be able to do something for this community right now. New approaches like Samaritan are a powerful way to provide personalized support to the people who need it and innovate where other programs fall short. The words of encouragement, the needs that get met by not some government entity, but by people in your community can mean the world for someone and empower them to persevere I'm Victoria. Victoria, nice to meet you, baby. Come on over. Are you from Seattle originally? Yes. Born and raised. It felt good that somebody cared. They thought to me what to do with my hair. Every girl needs to feel special. Everyone needs a team and the only reason I think that people remain houseless is often because they don't have that team. When everyone has a social home, like that group of people did in Buffalo for my family, I think the problem goes away, largely. Stand Together partners with our country's top changemakers. To see more stories, subscribe to our channel. And to learn more about how you can partner with us, go to standtogether.org.